difference because I produce all the breeds here. But before going into that, we sit down and calculate. Where do you benefit first? And where do you get some profits? So, this is the space. What do you need from one day old to five months? Here it requires 22 kgs from one day for feeding. Because we need it to be calculative such that we don't fall shortage of feeds. You need 22 kgs per chick. Then you multiply 22 kgs times the number of birds you are going to purchase or to buy or to start with. As I said before, layers, these are the contract chicks. They cannot exceed 18 months and they become off layer. The space is this one. Then the number of cages from one day old to the laying stage, 22 cages. What do you need? Now, the 100 chicks you require for, no, 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 no. Okay. Five drinkers and five feeders. And the consumption, it is 80%. These are feeds. And 20%, this is water. There you can see which is cheaper and which is expensive. 80% feeds, 20% water, meaning they take little water than feeds. There we are. Now, some people where you fail, from one day old to two months, they have to be in the brooder. What do I mean by brooder? This is taking care of one day old chick to two months. Here it will be some work done. Once you fail to understand this, <laughs> you either quit or seek for another breed. Because this is the period for growing and shedding or bring the feathers two months. And within this two months period, this is where you need to change the feeds from chick and duck to growers, growers mash. From two months, we change from chick and duck to growers mash. Some people fail because you simply go to buy the feeds, not knowing what is the actual right feed for this stage. Because you continue complaining, our chicks are stunted, our chicks are dying. What type of feeds are you feeding them? Bono zunga, guamani. Now, I talked about the types of feeds. Chick and duck. Growers. Layers. And breeders. Chick and duck is for all types of chicken. 
could it be local, could it be layers, could it be broilers. But for broilers, it is unexceptional. They have their own type of feet. But still you can feed them. From one day old to two months, don't exceed that for the chicken duck, two months. Then growers, it is three months, I mean two months plus to laying stage. Don't change from growers to layers unless when 5% of the number of chicks you have are laying. Abamumutagala. Once they reach four months, you change from growers to layers. What are they laying? So please, growers have to be stopped after realizing that 5% of your chicks are laying. And it should be changed in two weeks' time. That's very clear. Then the layers, the layers much, mainly is for commercial layers. Totagara, layers much is purposely for layers, the commercial. If it is done, that's okay. Then the breeders, my viewers, the breeders must is for the breeders' chicks. What do I mean by breeders? These are the chicks which are laying for producing one day all the chicks. And even the formula changes. So please take care and be vigilant when you are going to be buying these type of feeds. Breeders goes to Sussex, Sasso, Rainbow, Craters, and Local. Broilers you don't need. Layers you don't need. So when you do that, everything is going to be fine for you. And the formula for these, all these types, I remember we covered that. Accept it today. We are going to add one ingredient such that we minimize some of the diseases which incur in mixing your feeds. Because I don't know and I'm not there and I will not be there. So if you give me time such that you view our channel, what I need is you to become a veterinary office of your own farm. Because this channel is viewed by over 10 million people. Over 10. Because it's worldwide. Nigeria are there. Canada are there. UK. Spain. Italy. France. Israel. Even the whole of Africa. You decided to choose Living Agriculture as being your channel, not for entertaining, but for training. Our broad objective here is to train, not to entertain. If we are to be entertaining, we should be having music in the background. So please, these are the types of feeds we have and i'm very lucky to inform you that whoever is viewing we started making our own feeds because i've been complaining where do we get these feeds how can we identify the fake feeds and the real ones so if you feel like whatever you need we have it the concentrates, organically made, we have them. The mixed feeds, we have them. 
every type of feed you desire we mix when you are viewing there because we don't want you to be coming at our office storming there and then sitting there and once you come there are very many people the price of food raises and yet you don't eat <laughs> uh -uh. so that's the way how it is the commercial layers the consumption is 120 grams to 150 grams but there is one thing assuming you have 100 layers these layers expect them to be giving you three trays of eggs now 100 layers times 150 grams you require 115 kgs of feeds per day now the qualitative feeds the price is 2000 i need to be very clear about this even if you buy it at 1700 assuming you buy it at 2000 then 15 kgs times 2000 you get 30000 now the 30000 you get from the three trays minus because each tray it is at 10000 or 100 hens or layers you get three trays of which you feed them 15 kgs. That's where we are. Each tray costs 10,000 to 12. Then times the three. <laughs> this is either 30 or 36,000. And the feeding of 15 kgs. 15 times 2,000, you end up spending 30,000. Now, people fail. This is where you fail. Because the feeds, the cost of the feeds is 30,000. And once you sell your tray at 12,000, it is 36,000, meaning you have the difference of 60,000. You will not pay your attendant. Two, you don't consider water. Three, you don't consider the medicine. Four, even the time it's off. Some people sent me a message arrogantly. What you mean, should we quit from commercial layers? Please, at least be understandable. The choice is yours. I don't need to force you to go into a breed you don't feel like being comfortable. But this is the hard fact. Guamanyi. The choice is yours. But this is the calculation. How much do you put in? And how much do you earn? This is the calculation for commercial layers. Now, that's done.